When soundproofing, it's important to understand some basic principles. Sound energy travels through air and waves. A good way to visualize this is to think about waves of water. Energy creates a wave or rippling effect. It begins at a source and grows weaker and less intense as it moves outward. The same is true for waves in air. To measure these waves, sound professionals use the acoustic terms decibel and frequency. You'll hear terms like these when learning about your sound solution. So what are they? Decibels are used to rate loudness. To find the best sound solution, be familiar with the decibel levels of the sound source you want to control. Frequency measures the pitch of a sound, how low or how high. To us, high frequency sounds are perceived as nearby, while low frequency sounds are perceived as distant and are less bothersome. Therefore, higher frequencies are easier to soundproof than lower ones. Decibels and frequency will impact what is called transmission loss, how sound waves move through an object. Take this drummer playing very loudly, say at 110 decibels. Acoustic materials in the wall and in the room weaken sound waves and lower the decibels and frequency. So, on the other side of a wall, with soundproofing, the drumming registers at 85 decibels, much quieter. This 25 decibel difference is the transmission loss. Since humans perceive a loss of 10 decibels to be half as loud, a loss of 25 decibels sounds almost 75% quieter. As you can see, even a small change in decibel level really affects the way we hear sound. When you're looking to soundproof a room, remember that both the decibel level and the frequency range of your sound source are important. Knowing how these effects sound will help you decide which materials to purchase. To learn more about soundproofing, please give us a call or visit audimutesoundproofing.com. Let us put our knowledge to work for you.